Well, we're finally doing it. This is Neuron bearing the hatchet. This is a, like entering my chest and then the best of will be it going through me and finally putting it to rest, putting season 15 to rest. Admittedly, season 15 was a rough, rough, rough go. There was a lot of very poor filler episodes. There was a lot of story attempt episodes. And I say attempt because they tried to make you interested in what was happening, but the momentum for this season, and that's not just because of Corona, was so little and so repetitive and certain story elements just fell away. Like the beginning, the beginning of the season for some reason started with all of these monsters and ghosts. Well, actually it was supposed to be ghosts and demons and whatnot, even though there were certain things that couldn't be come from hell, but God said he let up hell, but the clown ghost thing was actually not a ghost, it's a monster, so technically it shouldn't have come up, but that's just retconning right there. That was such a quick one and done thing, and then the whole God being the villain thing had moments where it picked up, but then it completely fell through. They felt like that they kept on flipping around back and forth with the ideas that they wanted to do, and that was very evident throughout this season, and you guys did point out a few of those things. For those of you who engaged in the polls, sorry for one that you couldn't choose more than one option. It was something that I threw together very quickly. I'll try and do that better for the future, but thank you to those of you who contributed to the polls for the both the worst and the best episodes of season 15. And since you guys were so, like, there was 98 of you who did for the worst, I'm going to read off what you guys chose first, and then I'm going to give my own interpretation. So without further ado, let's talk about what you guys thought were the five worst episodes of season 15 and we start off with a triple way tie for third with last call hero's journey hot last holiday and drag me away from you so technically there's a four-way tie here for third but all of those episodes got eight percent and you guys didn't like any of them admittedly those are some of the weakest episodes with Last Call being the dumbest and worst filler episode I felt of this entire season, followed closely behind with Drag Me Away From You, Hero's Journey being a very poor attempt at some humor, and then Last Holiday also being a very kind of dull filler episode with one good joke. Number two on the list was the series finale with 10% being Carry On, which I'm quite surprised that well, it didn't get higher because the number one worst episode of this season by 24% rated by you guys was Inherit the Earth. And I don't blame you because it's not the greatest episode. It's But thank you so much for contributing to this poll. It was really cool to see you guys have this much effort into it and have this much play into it. So I very much appreciate that and I very much look forward to the best of. But now I'm going to do mine. I'm going to have one runner up and that is Carry On. Now, admittedly, Carry On is probably also going to appear in the best of, but really Carry On has some good and it has some bad. And the bad, at least for this one, was Dean's death scene and just how poorly it was portrayed. The idea of him dying from something so simple has a good connotation to it in terms of him just realizing that his journey is done. He no longer has to worry about this anymore. Some people have made the comment that it actually probably should have happened in the previous episode, that he should have died taking on Chuck, and that's how it should have happened. Like, if anything, the second episode, well, being Carry On, should have been about Dean kind of coming to terms with his death in heaven, whereas Sam is also coming to terms with Dean's death in reality. So that could have been a little bit more well established, and the lack of makeup for him bleeding to death, because if He's dying from that. He's got a punctured lung, punctured heart. He's got blood coming out of the mouth, right? I guess they wanted to glorify and pretty his death. And then also the makeup work for Sam was absolutely terrible. And I think the thing that was the most obvious about it was one, the death, and two, just how simple and very safe it was. It didn't try anything different. The montage at the end was so skipped through. Yeah, it's a cool way to end it. I do like how they ended it with the crew saying goodbye, but this, in terms of a series finale, it wasn't the worst episode of the season. It wasn't the best, but it definitely it had a lot to be desired. So now we're gonna start from five to one, and the fifth worst episode of this season, in my opinion, 
is Inherit the Earth. This was kind of a cruddy season finale. It was set up from the start, to be honest. The idea of God being a villain, I complained about this thing throughout the entire length of its existence. I tried my hardest to look at it from the nar narrative's perspective. I did take out that prejudice I had and I put it on the table and I thought, okay, I will try and watch this all the way through, and it gritted me the whole time because of just how poorly put together Chuck as a villain was. He acted like a baby anytime things were going wrong instead of this all-knowing deity. Everything that we have been given about this character for the last 14 years, well, technically 11 because he disappeared until he t turned up in the last 10 minutes of season 14, it just didn't work. It was very poorly put together. It didn't have any narrative focus to it. And he just made a shit villain. He made a very, very bad villain. Idea of the whole Thanos thumb snap thing, everyone going away, and then the dog having the most amount of emotional hold over you throughout this whole episode was hilarious. The end where they used that MacGuffin jack bomb thing. He went from going to the empty, blowing up, coming back, and then apparently becoming a power vacuum, but they didn't explain how that happened. It just, there was so much garbage with Jack in this season that they tried to make him important as a tool. He literally became a tool. He wasn't a character anymore. He was a literal tool. Just how they made it like a, guess what we were doing behind the scene. And the fact that he just keeps on saying, guys, guys, hey guys, help me guys. At the end was just a sad end for Robert Benedict. I don't know. I would have liked to seen him walk around as a human. If not in the series finale, in the season finale would have been interesting. Get to see him live amongst the things he created and he was going to destroy. But, oh uh, well. Number four on the list is the hero's journey. This had a funny joke as the premise and that was it. They didn't think this through. The idea that the brothers had this luck of heroes was preordained destiny that they were as good at these things and they had as much luck and they had these things happen for them in concept does sound funny as a joke but not as a whole episode. Parts that I agreed with the most were the fact that the Impala, there's no way that this thing would still be alive the amount of time that they've driven it, and the mileage on it must be like a jillion. They probably replaced every single part, and I'm not just talking about when it was destroyed in season one. I'm meaning like it literally had to have had every single part in it replaced by now. The idea that they'd never seen a dentist. That was it. Everything else was stupid. The fact that they couldn't remember how to pick locks, they didn't know how to fight anymore. Or the fact that when Dean went and punched that guy, and he kind of punched him like a scooby-doo character and then he got dung there was a lot of children's shows writers in this season and it showed a lot like i was quite surprised with how childish the demeanor of this show was and the fact that certain super fans were out there like this is so hard hitting this is such great narrative content and i'm like you never advanced past Saturday morning cartoons. Like, I'll admit, certain Saturday morning cartoons had some pretty damn good and hitting stories. Batman Beyond had some fantastic hard-hitting stories. A lot better than some of these episodes, in fact. I thought the whole monster cage fight part was very poorly done. The only good part about this episode was Garth, and he is one of the few characters that got a good ending in terms of anyone for a conclusion in this. I'm still pissed about Jody. Number three in the list is Raising Hell. This was part of the triple parter, sort of how the world is ending storyline that they made up and then dropped after three episodes at the beginning of the season. And Raising Hell just threw any sort of logic out the window because they wanted to have a Kevin Tran cameo for Squee. Even though the reason for his cameo, apparently he'd been sent to hell, even though they watched his spirit go up into the fucking atmosphere. Apparently it didn't mean shit. Apparently he'd been sent to hell this whole time just so they could bring him back. The logic with Ketch in this episode, I don't, it's not just because I hate the character, but he literally walked outside of the ring, came back in, and he was still possessed. I, he came in the barrier. He was inside the barrier and then walked to the outer of the barrier. It just, the logic of this episode made no goddamn sense. I hated almost every aspect about it. Fucking monster union was just idiocy. The fact that they just, hey, let's bring Jack the Ripper. Because it's, a lot of this episode was just because and it pissed me off with how dumb they took the audience to be for this episode. Sure, the one afterwards wasn't the worst because of what Rowena did, 
but there was this episode was asking a lot of stupid to be accepted and i i didn't appreciate that at all number two on the list is drag me away from you no idea why the brackets are there it doesn't matter this episode still sucks this is one of the two episodes i'm going to complain about a lot in terms of bringing up a character from the brother's past that just so happens to still have their number even though they've both died and changed their phone numbers a gajillion times by this point for some reason they go off to squamish to help this girl try and figure out what happened and killed her brother which happened to be the baba fucking yaga i thought this episode was a weird weird quasi filler episode but also trying once again to talk about the brother's past but we've done it we've done it there's nothing else you can do except retell the same story and that's what they did and it didn't push anything in terms of narrative the fight scene with the Bobby Yaga was pathetic this episode came at the absolute worst time that's another reason why this episode was so disliked in my opinion it's because it came at like a very terrible time when we had this triage of filler episodes once they came back from the coronavirus break it, it came at a very unfortunate time but it also just had a very unfortunate non-existent existence and then number one well first off i'm going to say i didn't like last holiday either i should have put that in my runner-up i didn't like that episode either because that was a weird silly childish thing but the number one episode I hated the most from this season, the worst one, is Last Song. Because this is nothing but a squee episode. There's nothing happening on the side with Sam that is of any interest. Because the majority of the episode is, once again, about Dean going to help a supposed best friend or an old friend of his that he hasn't talked to in over 15 years. But will drop everything to go and see him every time they did this in the actual show before this season the first time being in season one and then again in season three every time this happened these episodes were never that great i don't know why they kept doing this trope but i guess it was an excuse but it never worked well and i don't know why they thought hey it's the 20th time we've done it maybe this time it won't suck problem is it did this episode did nothing for the show's progressive movement in terms of this season. It was a complete dead stop. Nothing forwarded the story, nothing forwarded the narrative. It was literally just an excuse to film Jensen sing and show off his beard. Otherwise, this episode is the worst, the most pointless, the completely most useless episode of this season. I did not like this episode at all. The fact that I didn't give it a one is because I respected the camera work because I thought that it was a decent job. Otherwise, this episode just got me on all the wrong terms. It never had any point to it, never had any reason to it. It's just one of those filler episodes that means absolutely fucking nothing. And those are my five worst episodes of season 15. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have been holding off on doing it for a while because I really just wanted to give myself a break from talking about Supernatural. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Be aware best of will be coming soon once I can conjure up the effort to do it. One more video and then we can go and start talking about season four. We can finally go back to good stuff. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.